Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to integrate this B-Tide Studio Steam integration kit. And pretty much this just allows us to connect our games onto Steam and allows us to play multiplayer games together. So I'm just going to head over to the library, launch 5.4.3 and create a third person template project just for the sake of this tutorial. And I'll just create a third person project and I'll call this something like Steam integration kit and hit create. And while that's launching, I just want to download this GitHub repository as a zip file. And I'll head over to repositories and look for the Steam integration kit. So I'll leave the link in the description below. And as soon as you get here, I'm just going to right click on this or left click on this part where it says code and download the zip. And I'll just go ahead and download the Steam integration kit main and click save. And now over in my Epic browser, I'm just going to right click my Steam integration kit project that I created, right click show in folder. And while I'm in the folder, I'm just going to right click create a new folder and I'm going to call this plugins. And from my plugins folder, I'm just going to extract all directly into the plugins folder of my Steam integration kit, like so, and hit extract. And now I just restarted my project. And if it's going to ask you the following modules are missing or built with a different engine, just hit yes to recompile your project. You may also need to head to your project files, right click on your project, show more options and generate Visual Studio project files. And now when you open up your project, head over to edit plugins and look for Steam. And you'll see that you have the Steam integration kit enabled now that it's in your plugins folder. If your project did crash and you weren't able to launch it, you can just right click your project. Oh, edit in notepad and under plugins, just add a comma right here, click enter and add another open and close curly bracket. And inside this open curly bracket, I'm going to write quote name, quote, colon space, quote, online subsystem steam comma. And then under this, I'll just write enabled through and then hit save. And now if you were to go to edit, and project settings, you'll see on the left that under game, you'll see a Steam integration kit right here. But we'll still need to edit some of our configuration settings and our default gameplay.ini. So now let's go ahead and configure our default engine.ini. I just right clicked on my content and selected show in Explorer. And once that pops up, I'll go back to my project folder, up one for my content, and then I'll select config. And I'll just right click my default engine and open with Visual Studio. And I'll just head over this documentation and just copy paste this or just copy like so and paste this right at the bottom of my default engine.ini, just like that. All right, so this is pretty important and I'm gonna link it in the description below. So in order to be able to actually log in with your Steam account that you're using and shift tab while you're in session to follow the steps provided by Epic Games, and this is the link. I'm, this is what I'm going to set, give you in the link below. They're going to give you quite a few scripts in order to just add to your to your gameplay file. And it's totally fine that in your project, if you're going to be if you're going to be using Steam App ID 480, because this is testing. This is the testing App ID for everyone, so you don't need a Steam account or I guess a Steam Steamworks partner account to set this up. You can just use 480, and that's totally fine for this tutorial. So going back to our VS Code, we just need to copy paste this script and I'll just um, I'll just paste it under another script.engine which is right here just to keep it in alphabetical order just like that and I'll just backspace this all the way to the left for readability and now I want to make sure this is already checked but I believe it is so under my online subsystem it says default platform service is equal to steam and then online subsystem I want to make sure that steam dev app, app ID is 480 and enabled is true I'll just go ahead and copy the snippet. It is autom automatically using the Steam Dev App ID. And I'll just paste this at the bottom here. And if you do decide to use sessions, you can just copy paste this script code and paste it under the online subsystem Steam like this. And make sure to change this script slash online subsystem Steam dot Steam Net driver to the one that Epic's recommending, which is going to be Steam Net Connection or online subsystem Steam dot Steam Net Connection. And by default, it's Steam Sockets. So I'm just going to change that. And now after restarting my project, I'm just going to head over to Edit and go to Editor Preferences. And now down here under Level Editor, where it says Play, I'll click on Play. And down here under Play in Standalone Game, you'll see Additional Launch Parameters. And I'm just going to type in Dash Log. And I can exit out of that. And I can play as a standalone game. So I'll select Play as a standalone game. And now you see that I can run around like so and hold shift tab to open up my steam. So when I click play standalone game, these are the dash logs showing up. And now you'll see that I'm logged in. The steam shows up on the bottom right. And when I hit shift tab, I'll open my friends list and all the stuff you see in a normal steam game. 
And that's how you launch your game on Steam using the Steam integration kit. Thanks for watching my tutorial. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next. Feel free to check out the link in the description below to support my channel.